Good morning friends i hope everyone is doing well i request everyone to watch my videos in sequence for better understanding in the earlier video we have discussed we have taken few languages and we have obtained the equivalent regular expressions now what i want to do is that i want to discuss about a finite automata to regular expressions already we have discussed regular expression to language conversion long ways to regular expression conversion now we will do the finite automata to regular expression then regular expression to finite automata so in this video i want to discuss the steps in converting a finite automata to a regular expression okay this method name is called state elimination method okay the name of the method is state elimination method state elimination method is one of the method for converting a finite automata to a regular expressions so let me read out the what are the steps are there the step one says that if the initial state has transitions in transitions in means if there is an incoming edge to the initial state because in a finite automata you will have an initial state and a final state am i right if the initial state has transition in meaning is that if it is having any incoming edges then add new initial state okay and add epsilon transition between the new initial state and the former one is it clear meaning is that let me discuss in a simple example if you have an initial state this is your initial state q in qs okay and you have a final state as qf like this it is there this is your initial state and this is your final state if initial state has an incoming edge if you see that this is an initial initial state and this is an incoming edge to that one then what you will do you will keep a new initial state as qi okay you will keep the new initial state add a new initial state and add epsilon transition epsilon means without taking anything you can go for the next state you take and and add epsilon transition between the new initial state qy and the far one one qs and keep the same transitions as it is done so that is what they are saying if your initial state have an incoming edge then add a new initial state which is a dummy one and add epsilon transitions between new initial state and former one so now your new initial state is qi so that is what they want to say is it clear now we will discuss the step 2 if the final state has transition out is it clear meaning is that if the final state has an outgoing edge transitions out means what if it is having an outgoing edge then add a new final state and add epsilon transition between new final state and former one if you see this when let's take an example qs okay you have q1 or let's make it at q0 q1 and q2 this is your final state am i right now like this it is there now this is one they are saying that there is an outgoing edge from the final state the final state is q2 from q2 you have an outgoing edge then what you should do they are telling you take q0 same as it is q1 q2 okay then add a new final state add a new final state called some qf okay make it as a final state see because of space constraint i am writing like this i hope it is visible for you there is a q0 state q1 and q2 so i am writing q0 q1 q2 and same transitions i am not changing anything on the transitions just i added a new final state and keep an epsilon now old one will not act as a final state in previous case the old state is not acting as an initial state now previously q2 is the final state now it will not act as a final state q2 on epsilon will go to the new final state so if you see that now after changing it from the final state you don't have any outgoing edge now qf there is no outgoing edge so the step 2 says that if final state has outgoing edge or transition out then add a new final state 
we have added and add epsilon transition we have added between the new final state and former one so i hope the step two is clear don't worry if you does not understand the steps i will take few examples and i will make you explain this algorithm if more than one final state is there this is another case okay now till now we have discussed two cases now third case is that if more than one final state is there add new final state and add epsilon transitions between them and add a new final state okay let me explain with an example you have qs or q0 let's make it q0 you have q1 okay now q1 has more than one final state is there okay let's take that this is q1 some on zero it is coming as uh, something okay now this is one this is two this is three let's take that now you have q2 final state q3 final state and q4 final state you have three final states are there let's make it okay on a q0 on alphabet zero you are going to a state called q1 q1 on one you are going to a final state q2 on two you are going to a final state q3 now on three you are going to a final state called q4 so meaning is that you have three final states means more than one final state is there then what should i do it is very simple what they are telling if more than one final state is there add a new final state and add epsilon transition between them and a new final state listen carefully so this process is simple keep the same as it is q0 q0 is your initial state on zero it is coming to q1 okay on one it is going to q2 on two it is going to q3 on three it is going to q4 these were the final states previously but what i am saying if you have more than one final state what you will do you will take one new final state this is a dummy final state okay add epsilon transitions between them now this is your new final state add epsilon transitions meaning is that there is no change in the long ways accepted by this finite automata if you do the changes because on one you are reaching q2 see if you want to accept zero one previously what it is accepting it is accepting the string zero one zero two zero three now also it will accept zero one again epsilon zero one epsilon means zero one only so still it is accepting again zero two epsilon means zero two only zero three epsilon means it is accepting zero three so the meaning is that after we do the changes what are the changes we have discussed in step one step two step three the finite automata whatever the long ways previously accepting it will not change after doing the changes also the long ways accepted by the finite automata will not modify or will not change now step four eliminate all the intermediate states what are meant by intermediate states leave the initial state and final state what are the states are there in between eliminate them and update and update transitions accordingly please remember this point eliminate i hope if it is not visible let me discuss from here eliminate all the intermediate states okay suppose let's take that this is your initial state and this is your final state between these states q1 q2 q3 q4 we will call it as an intermediate states so eliminate all the intermediate states and update the transitions accordingly meaning is that if you eliminate q1 you should not eliminate these edges meaning is that the edges we will eliminate but from if you see that q0 on 0 it is coming to q1 q1 on 1 it is going to q2 and similarly 0 2 it is going to q3 0 3 it is going to q4 if i eliminate q1 if i remove q1 still there should be an edge from q0 to q2 going on in string called 0 1 are you able to understand previously q0 on 0 it is going to q1 q1 on 1 it is going to q2 if i eliminate q1 also there should be an edge from q0 to q2 by taking the string called 01 means alphabet 01 
previously we are taking alphabet 0 we are reaching q1 alphabet 1 we are reaching to q2 now directly with alphabet 0 1 we will go to q2 similarly 0 2 we will go to q3 0 3 string or alphabets we will go to q4 means 0 1 means 0 concatenation with 1 0 concatenation with 2 0 concatenation with 3 will go to so this this is what i want to say if you eliminate the intermediate states also you have to update the translations accordingly so if you follow these four steps from the finite automata you can easily get the regular expression let me discuss a small example for this one so that you will understand the concept in a better way okay let me take a small example such a way that all the cases are satisfying you have q0 okay you have q1 sorry you have a q1 okay and your q1 let's take that q0 is your final state on a on b okay then we will see now what will happen now your initial state is acting as a final state now remember one thing first step one is initial state is having an incoming edge now if you see that transition one they said transition in if the initial state has a transition in meaning is that incoming edge is there take a new initial state q i and make it as this is still it is still final state only on a on one on b okay is it clear so on epsilon it will come this will act as a new initial state now what is the next one from a final state you should not have an outgoing edge that is what the step two if the final state has transition out meaning is that from the final state if you have any outgoing edge now what you have to do you have to make the new final state add a new final state and add epsilon between them now what i will do i will make a new final state if i add new final state this will not act as a final state okay epsilon and this is my new final state okay is it clear are you able to understand so i have taken the two scenarios with this example initial state have incoming edge and final state has outgoing edge then in the both the cases you have to take the new initial state and new final state and add epsilon moves now what is the step three step three if you have more than one final state we have only one final state so step three will not come now come to the step four eliminate the intermediate state such a way that you will have initial state and final state then we can get the regular expression how it can happen you see now please listen carefully take this finite automata you tell me what is the strings it is accepting is it accepting a no because from initial state on a it is going to q1 q1 is not a final state so it is not accepting is it accepting a b yeah it is accepting a b so take it a b now after a b if you get a a is it accepting no if you get another a, b it is accepting so what i can say is it accepting epsilon yes it is accepting epsilon so what i can say it can accept epsilon because your initial state is a final state so epsilon is accepting then one a b it is accepting am i right or wrong a b it is accepting now two a b's will it accept or not you see a b it is accepting again a again b it is accepting so what i can say it will accept the strings which is in the form of a b whole state am i right or wrong if this is zero you will get epsilon if this is one you will get a b if it is two you will get a b a b so it is accepting the strings of in the form of a b whole clone enclosure is it clear now we will see whether we will get this one or not okay now we will check it now if you see that q naught on epsilon you are coming to q naught q naught on a you are going to q1 on b you are going to again q naught now if i eliminate this one 
please remember one thing if i eliminate this one what will happen there should be an edge starting from q naught on a it is going and again on b it should come am i right or wrong even if i eliminate the transition should be on a on b again it should come back to q naught shall i write like this your initial state is q naught on epsilon q naught on q f on a and b it is coming like this are you able to understand it is starting from a q naught on a it is going to q1 if the q1 is eliminated again on b it is coming back so on a and b it is coming back to q naught okay are you able to understand let me erase this one and i will discuss now you see it you have another intermediate state that also you need to eliminate how you will eliminate if you eliminate it you have q naught and if a b on a loop if it is there what will happen if it is a loop it is there see even if i eliminate you should have q naught i mean q i your initial state and your final state will be there and there should be an edge between q i to q f such a way that the transitions also should be updated if i keep it what it will be there you will have an epsilon is it clear on epsilon you will go to q naught from on q naught you will repeating a b any number of times so i will keep it as a b whole star from there you will go to epsilon so still if i eliminate q naught the transition should be updated so from initial state q i on epsilon i am going to q naught in q naught i am repeating any number of times a b maybe it can be zero or one times or more than one time also so i have repeated a b star and from q naught on epsilon i am going to q f so now if i take it what is this expression epsilon something is see we have discussed yesterday epsilon on a it, you will get a only so epsilon multiply concatenated with anything you will get the same thing so this is the regular expression we got so whether both are same or not yes so this is the correct procedure we have followed okay i hope you have understood the steps in converting a finite automata to a regular expression and we have discussed one example so that you will understand the concept in a better way don't worry if you does not understand this how i converted like this i will take few examples in small small examples i will take in the next video and i will discuss so that you will understand the concept in a better way thank you so much for watching my video if you really like my teaching please press the like button share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you